Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be discussing Troy's ambassador in residence and her visit here to Troy University, Connie Morella. Connie, thanks for joining us Thank today. You. It's a great pleasure for me. Thank you, Aaron. And uh, the ambassador in residence program exposes students to uh, foreign policy and ambassadors and people who've been a part of that program. But before we talk a little about what you're doing here on campus, let's let the folks at home know a little bit about you and your history and, and what got you to the point where you are today. So. Well, I'm a political junkie, Okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm very proud of it, too, because I love our democracy, and really I love politics. I am an educator, taught at our community college and at American University. I was in the state legislature, I'm in the federal congress, and I was our ambassador in Paris to our OECD. Um, so I've been pretty fortunate and able to be able to represent the people all along the way. And I believe very much in education, and I want to congratulate Troy University. This ambassador uh, in residence program is an excellent one, a great opportunity to teach these young people about what happens throughout the world. We are all connected. Mm -hmm. We're not just a solo, a solo country. And of course, it, and Troy University has a lot of international ties, has a strong international student body. Uh, and But what does it bring to the students here to have someone who's actually been in the, a foreign country that's worked in a foreign country, especially working in foreign policy issues that, that otherwise they may not get a chance to, to hear about firsthand. It gives them an opportunity to know the value of public service, of reaching out to people in other countries. And they will learn that we all, we, we all have something in common, what we want, the quality of life and education, opportunity, families and friends. And so they can see that and they can also learn about the customs, they can learn about the traditions, they can learn about the crises and the problems, the uniqueness of each country. And that brings us closer together. And I must say, Troy University, again, I applaud them because there are 71 countries represented mm -hmm. among the student body. So my being here and the other seven ambassadors that you've had here, uh, that combined with the international students who are here are saying to the whole student body, see, we are connected, we are one world, we are uh, all working toward the same kind of goal. So I think it's a great experience for them. Hey, I love it. I love, I love connecting with the young people, hoping that in some way I can, I can inspire them to look to foreign service, to look at public service. And, and I must say, Aaron, I have a little bit of a concern that some of the studies that have been done among the millennials are demonstrating they're not really interested mm -hmm. in running for office or being directly involved in public service. And I want to, I want to tear down <laughs> that barrier. And, now, and of course, you're getting a chance to meet with some of these students. So, so does it make you feel good that maybe you might be opening to the, their eyes to a new opportunity? Maybe they didn't know about you know, foreign policy and, and, and reaching out to other countries. And maybe it's something that they've never thought about before and that you're opening their eyes to this. Oh, yes. It's a great, it's a great hope I have. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, being um, taken around uh, to, a cup, to the Rosa Park Museum. Mm -hmm by a young woman who's from Nigeria. Now this was great. She was enjoying her experience very much. She loved it. She had family back in Nigeria. We talked about the problems that that country has, which mm -hmm. are significant with Boko Haram and mm -hmm. whatever. And I've talked to a number of other students just before our discussion now, uh, other students from Georgia, from Germany. And, and so this is all pretty exciting and you hope that they all will be our future leaders because what I think I can contribute now is just kind of like pass on some of that excitement and hope and knowledge that you can make a difference and you've got to work at it. And as someone that was involved with, with foreign policy, does it make you feel good to be able to see American students and international students working together and, and side by side and maybe those relationships might expand out globally? It's ideal. It is absolutely ideal to be able to see the students from other countries and from our country coming together from different walks of life also, coming together to learn to appreciate each other. I feel it's very important that we respect and that we listen, we learn, we lead, and we need to know people. And when you know people, you can disagree and you can discuss and you can work out a solution. Quite frankly, as an aside, 
I think that's what Congress needs more of. <laughs> uh. Well, here's hoping that maybe Congress will learn some lessons and then Troy University students in turn will learn some of the lessons from you and uh, open their eyes to some new possibilities thanks to your visit. Now, and they will run for and they will run for Congress. Run for Congress and make some of those changes you want uh, <laughs> exactly. in place. So, well, I want to thank you for joining us today and, and enjoy the rest of your trip here at Troy. So, thank you very much. I have enjoyed it. Thank and you. Th and thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.